when I was first starting out, I just didn't even know where to start. Because of that, I just dove right in and jumped into sewing. And I feel like that led me to a lot of letdowns. That's why I think one of the biggest mistakes sewists make as beginners is just battling that excitement of wanting to start on sewing something grand. I feel like why people get interested in sewing is because they see something that's very inspiring and they want to do it as well. But then trying to tackle that without the foundation is extremely difficult. What I mean by beginner sewist is usually someone who's just started maybe a few projects under their belt, but hasn't really done much besides you know, alterations, maybe hasn't built a garment from scratch. They might know their way around a machine, but they're still pretty new to the game. So why is rushing into a project the biggest mistake for beginners? In my opinion, there's three parts. We got the kettle, the carrot, and the balance, all of which I think we can all relate to. I'd also say this probably only applies to those who are self-taught like myself. Now, battling the excitement of wanting to sew something huge is not the only mistake, nor is it objectively the biggest mistake, but it's something that I faced when I was a beginner, and so that's why I think others will probably face it too. Now, for the kettle, similar to any hobby or craft that you're learning as a beginner solo, you're usually facing obstacle after obstacle after obstacle, and it's very easy to get discouraged. You start losing your patience, and like a kettle, when it's building up, it just gets louder and louder. That same frustration in your mind is just building and building until you burst. So many things can go wrong in so many places, and the worst part is trying to figure out what is going wrong exactly. When I was first started sewing, I found it really hard to define what the problem was or what I'm looking for because I didn't have the language to know what to ask. It's a serious knock on confidence and now this precious hobby or craft turns into stressful work. Come on now, we didn't pick up someone to do work. We did it to have fun. It's hard. It's not easy to contain all that excitement. You just want to do, but it can be damaging sometimes. You could really set yourself up for failure. I've had so many instances trying to freestyle something into existence, and when I rush into the unknown like that, that's when I get the most hot-headed, like a kettle. I'm just fuming, trying to figure out what to do, and kicking myself, thinking, why did I rush into this? Why didn't I do this the right way? Let's say that you want to make a blazer, something pretty grand. That's your trophy, your goal. That's the carrot that you see you're chasing after. That's what got you excited to sew. If you rush into that, it's not gonna turn out the way you expected. Without practice, without the building blocks, you're gonna end up with this wonky, asymmetrical blazer with uneven pockets and crooked seams. And the worst part is that goal, that thing that got you super excited to sew in the first place has now been achieved but didn't come out the way you expected. You can kind of see here the overarching theme is to avoid these letdowns. Letdowns make people lose interest and that's how people drop hobbies versus having a more reliable path, something stable, which leads to a greater commitment in the long term. While I do think that battling excitement can be a challenge, it's also a positive. It's the reason you joined. It's what got you inspired in the first place. Maybe it's why you even bought a sewing machine. So you should run with it, but in a balance like moderate way. Keeping that goal in mind throughout your journey is key. Every lesson learned, figure out how you're gonna add that to your plan. How is what you learned going to contribute to your goal? When you have something to apply your learnings to, I feel like it tends to stick better. Essentially what I mean is having your end goal of what you wanna make balance with discipline. Use the excitement to fuel you, to keep you motivated, committed, but balance it with the discipline, with the patience of taking a maybe a longer path. Now, I'm not even gonna act like I follow this rule all the time. Sometimes I have this idea and I freestyle it into existence and I rush into the unknown and I kick myself every time because it ends up there's one thing or a few things that just don't fit right. It's still a problem for me. I mean, it's tough, but that's the tricky part about this craft is trying to contain your excitement, but also, you know, use it for its good. Those are my two cents on the biggest mistakes sewers can make, but there are plenty of other mistakes, some of which I address in my Seems Too True playlist, if you want to check that out. Until next time, peace.